Hello everybody, it's Shy. And Nine Tails. And we're here for the uh, first game of Winter Finals. First game, yep, this is the best of five set. Yep, Jax's versus G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer. Both players do very well today. This is a pretty standard set we see at our tournaments. Uh, G-Man and Jax is playing in Winter's Finals. Two of our best players here. Yeah. G-Man, if G-Man loses this, he'll be going to uh, rematch against... Um, Richard Breyer, who he, AKA previously, who he previously beat 2 1 in a very close game. Oh, uh, it's true. It was very close. Um, of course, Jackson's just going to have a big attention as well. Yeah. And so far, it looks like Jackson has the percent lead. But again, she gets the percent quick. Ooh, oh, that was interesting. interesting. Okay, trying, to get for, trying to go for that flip spike. Gets hit by the up B slightly, taking a lot of damage just for. Not real. Neil's the bouncing fish? Not gonna take it quite yet. Let's see if Diddy's custom up B. Oh, is he not using it? Oh, he hit the edge of the stage. The barrels exploded, killing him, only giving Jackson like 20 more percent. Yeah. So G Man's in a slightly rough position here. Of course, Jackson is getting close to the point where G Man can kill him. Tries to go for that read. In case, <laughs> for those of you who haven't been watching other matches in this tournament, uh, G Man's working with an interesting Diddy custom right now. It's a barrel pack that get, takes away a lot of his ability to control his uh, jet movement, but uh, it turns it into a really solid kill move as well. Very good punishing move. Yeah. Uh, I think we've even seen it punish Bouncing Fish. Yeah. And one of the first rounds. Yeah, against Jaxus. Alright, both players moving in and out pretty successfully, just being very kind of same pressure. And he's got banana in hand. Oh, the banana, banana forward, forward smash. smash. Probably one All of it took was just off. one forward tilt from the cheek, and Diddy was able to punish. Yeah. I think that's the one thing about Diddy. Diddy has a really good kill option of that, especially with the upbeat custom now. It's always an uh, uh, interesting position to put himself in, though, because Diddy loses a lot of options with banana in hand. Yeah. Gets up smashed, not hitting the exact sweet spot that kills. Yeah, it, it probably could have been a kill if it had because uh, Diddy's rocking a really high Gets percent. Gets hit by the up at the edge. The vanish. Sheik drops a grenade and just gets out of there. Disappears. Diddy eats it. Jack is taking game one. Game one, yeah. Game one the Jets. Game five. Not necessarily the most un, uh, unprecedented result. We're gonna sit, we're gonna be here for a while if this goes back and forth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if both characters stay. They're both prone to switching up. Jackson sometimes goes zero suit when he's in the mood for uh, something different. G Man has been going Ganondorf a lot. And he went Falcon Knights today as well. Yeah, he breaking my shield. Yes. Uh, <laughs> So it looks like right now, it looks like both players are staying, but not sure. Yeah, stage, stage selection happens with four characters. Which is, uh, so I'm going to see if, where we're going first and see if they're going to stay. Yep. Knowing G-Man, he might go to Ganon. Yes. Um, he's been having surprisingly good results in Gandorf today, so... Custom Ganondorf is nothing like <laughs> Oh yeah, I lost the Custom Ganondorf. Yeah. And she's... Yeah, is, yep. Is a really solid All right, they're staying characters, and we're going to Pokemon uh, PS2. What PS2? Yep, PS2. PlayStation um, 2. Starts off with a bear to grab, re grab. To a lot of bears. <laughs> Only doing about 27 percent. Yeah, that's cheap for you. Diddy easily getting percent back with two down throws. All right. And it looks like, like, uh, looks like uh, Jaxus is showing a lot of stage control, even though the percent seems pretty even. It looks like uh, G-Man keeps getting forced to the edge. Which is not something you want to do with the Diddy customer. Uh, no. Yeah, you gotta be careful. If Jaxus applies pressure at all in any way where G-Man can spot dodge, uh, he can just come right out with that upbeat. And uh, on a stage like this with a regular ceiling, that could become a kill now even, essentially. I feel. 
<laughs> I don't know what its kill percents are, though, because I've never seen a Diddy Kong player use it at all. Yeah, um, but I know earlier we saw Diddy Kong use it on someone under 100%, and it was just like a really, really solid, obvious kill. Yeah. I think it was a summer geek, maybe, I can't remember. A Yoshi. Yeah, it was against him. AJ using the ice to his advantage, bailing him in very quickly. It's oh, Diddy, Diddy Kong getting stuck in that ice lag. <laughs> Didn't get punished too hard for it. Oh, and the needles on shield. The shield is so low. Yeah, he's got to be careful here. there. I felt like there. Oh, there it is. He, he dodges. He spot dodges the dash grab and up the punish. For the stock. That move, like we've been talking about, is very strong. Oh, very good ledge strong. jump back air. Yeah. But you don't see that too often now. Oh, uh, Jackson said it to me. <laughs> so it's working. When it's, it's not a... Sheik's back air has nerfed, but it, it's still a kill move once you get the percents like that. Very good up air to stop the string. Yeah. G-Man's still in this very much so because, again, Sheik just built all that damage up with like 10 hits. That, yep. It's, oh, wow. G-Man getting back to stage in time to punish the uh, vanish. And uh, Sheik's, Sheik's fair strings start stop becoming true combos once you get your percent high enough. So that really intimidating sort of like nonstop hits you have to under you go through they they uh they be relent eventually. There we go. Good punish uh, from the forward smash to the back air. Oh, ooh, that, that looked that was like a really solid pun punish moment. I thought that was gonna be an upbeat, honestly. Yeah. She may maybe missed an opportunity there. Now he's in a bad position. Oh, Jaxus was gonna try to go for a stage spike, but G-Man pulled out those jetpacks just a little quicker than he could do it. Maybe he should have tried for something else, you know? Step, took a step back. Uh, might, might not want to put that much pressure on when, uh, when that jetpack's an option. Yeah, I don't think AJ expected it and just died to it. Yep, AJ being Jaxus. Anyway, um, so it's very close now, it's 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, going back and forth, and it's best of five, so both players still need to win two matches to actually take the set. Yeah. So, looking at how the last game went, I feel like, honestly, there's still, like, there's no way to determine who's going to actually take this. Oh, yeah, very... Both true. players showing a very, you know, what knowledgeable matchup against their opponent. And I still think we have a lot of opportunities to see potential character switches. Looks like G-Man's going to start. And Jax is going to play. So, uh, not yet. Looks like we're staying Diddy Sheik, and we're going to Lila. Yeah. Very good option, I think, with uh, Jax is here, because of the recovery that Diddy is currently using. Yeah. And just Sheik being able to recover so easily. One on just random Lila stage tilt could just end a stock for uh, G-Man if he's not careful. Very good start off. Getting 53%. The double bouncing fish being part of this. Diddy having a little bit of trouble trying to regain stage position. Yep, Jax is starting really strong control right now. G-Man spot dodging, finally back up on the center. Let's see if he can uh, get, get the momentum in his favor. Gets a good back air. Another back air. Catching the dash past him. Yep, just short hopping past him and then doing back air. Up on this platform is not a good place for either player to be. Both players being really, really mean with their, with their aerial attacks. Ooh, misses the uh, bouncing fish. The characters, I guess. Trying to see if Jaxus is maybe going to make the same mistake he made during the last stock of the last match. Did definitely learned that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can he down throw to just up there for oh, the that's going to be the stock, yep. AJ, Jaxus has really good reads on those. Uh, yeah, he just jumps up and the moment you the moment you air dodge, that's it. He gets you with that up air. I've seen, I've seen you play and you look like you have trouble with that. Uh, yeah, he, I've been trying to improve on it. He got me with it once today, so... Good back air. Oh. Again, I thought that could have been an upbeat moment right there. But that upbeat looks really strong and it looked like it could have killed at that percent. Mm -hmm. But a pretty good spot dodge for these parts. Of course, he's uh, still in a bad position. This game's looking like it's probably going to go to Jaxus and we see, we see some really big uh, trend, uh, shifts in momentum. Yeah, yeah. Sheik having a lot of safe options, though. It's going to be very tough to... Uh, I'm not even sure what move Jaxus just threw out, wheels. but it clipped the barrels off and the jetpacks just destroyed him. That could have easily shifted the momentum, even if it doesn't look like it right now. G-Man's favorite if G-Man's able to... Again, it's really hard to catch up on Sheik, though. 
All of Sheik's up. There we go. Needles to bouncing fish. Uh, that's a kill confirmed. The moment those needles hit him in the air. If you bounce your fish right away. That's it. That's it. That's a stock right there. So that was a good game by the players. The barrel was really hard. cool. Yeah, the barrel. That's uh, that's the, been the main hype moments for Diddy Kong, I feel like, in this, uh, for G-Man today. All those barrel kills. I feel like uh, Diddy players, seeing this man convert to... Uh, there's not a lot of people that watch our channel, but a lot of Diddy players could convert to using the upbeat kill. Yeah, as long as you're, uh, as long as you feel safe with your ability to recover with it. Yeah. The truth is, Diddy Kong already was so capable of recovery, it's almost not the worst part. You know, it's like already his weakness, anyway, making it so a little weaker, isn't it? Necessarily the worst thing. I honestly feel like doing that is probably the best. The, the, any Diddy player is less often at this point. So, this could be the last one for G Man in Winners Finals. Uh, potentially, if Jexus takes this, he wins the set. G Man's still got two matches to go if he wants to make it. Yeah. And it looks like we're going to, was it Smashville or Town and City? Town and City. Very good stage for both characters, I feel. Mm -hmm. Diddy all having all a good advantage. Usual so. stage for everyone. That's why you very often see it. Uh, as the starting stage in sets. Very good pivot grab. Yeah. Now you're what? Gets an up air to another up air. Yep. Catches him on the platform. Platforms are just never a good place to be against these kinds of characters. No, definitely not. <laughs> Alright. Jax right. makes it back underneath the stage. And he's got to get off there. Those yeah. Platforms take People have died by trying to run off of it. You, what you want to do is you definitely just want to jump and recover off of that. Yeah. Right. Tries to go for the grab and he's made. He's gotten that a few times today. Yeah, wow. Using this is cool, interesting. Give me a little bit of pressure. Sheik, yeah, a little bit of Sheik uh, projectile spam. AJ oh, doing very well. Wow, that was wow, a really cool good. short hop up there. Yeah. AJ applying a lot of pressure right now. Mm -hmm. G Man just trying to find solid ground to. Ooh! Did he use the balloon? Uh, I didn't see. I didn't see either. It looked like he hit something beforehand. Yeah. Oh, back air, back air. Nope. That was a little bit of an unsafe approach. He landed a little too close to Sheik there after that back air. Very good recovery, knowing what. Ooh, very good back air. Yep. I feel like an upbeat right now would Again. kill because of rage. If, if uh, G-Man's gonna land so close to Sheik like that, he's gotta do something like uh, spa dodge and something, or else he's gonna keep getting punished for landing so close. Oh, oh, that could have been reads the forward smash and is almost doing this round. With this kind of rage, Diddy Kong might be able to get kills. Very early. She. Yeah, so this maybe gonna go for an upgrade. Just uh, Cheek right now. Jimmy makes it back down to the ground. Bouncing she fish does not kill across the stage. Diddy at 174, really high numbers. Got to be super careful. Gets the back throw also not gonna kill. That was interesting. I'm not sure what Jaxus was going for there, but he went a little too deep trying yeah. to avoid something like an edge guard, I guess. This could be very well G Man's game. We could be very well going to game five. Let's G Man at 174% right now, though. He's got to try to get a little bit more percent on his fares are working for him. And Jaxus tries to go once again for that, damp that back air stage spike. Didn't work out, but he also didn't eat the barrels at least. That part still almost killed. Yeah. This is, this is an insane sleep. amount of damage on Diddy Kong right now. It is Sheik again. This is a good example of why Sheik has trouble killing. Uh huh. It's just, yeah, it's just a, not why, but just like a solid example of it happening. Yeah. Diddy Kong now almost at 200%, 199. It's gonna be at 200%. Up oh, he's tilt, dead. A four tilt for a kill. At 202%, Diddy finally loses his stock. He didn't get too big of a lead. 31. Pretty solid lead though. Yep. For being at 200% and trying to play as cautiously as possible. Exactly. But uh, Sheik's bringing it back with her fair strings. Yeah. Alright, that kind of jab is not safe. When you get that on your shield, you know you're going to get punished. Yeah. Oh, banana, banana forward. forward air. Forward smash. Yeah. He landed on the platform coming back. <laughs> yeah, that almost helped him out, but did he got him off of it, so maybe not. Very close game right now. Yeah. Sheik really just needs to do something right now, or else it's going to be very difficult. Sometimes when Jexus gets in this kind of desperate situation, we'll see that. Those uh, lots of needles spam. Just to try to, like, very good job. Get, it, get it back to an even position. That could have been an uppie. Like, I, I see those opportune moments, and exactly. I just, like... But G-Man's going to be careful, because this, at this point, if he whiffs it, he could get killed himself. Very good back throw. Not killing quite yet, but... 
right. Very close. That banana Tension's very amazing. high for both players right Here now. Here we go, another banana oh. out. Looks like... And he recovered! Okay! Yeah, that was a barely bit stressful. Making... Oh, this oh, the oh, banana! The banana! I forgot about it. That was going to be a back throw for stock if not that banana coming back down. Banana, AJ throwing it up and it's saving him right there. Yeah. Well, let's see. Back throw? Back not throw. quite going to kill yet. But both players are at the point where one hit is going to determine the game. Very good forward air to get help. Oh, that could have, if Diddy was any closer. Sometimes when Diddy's far away, that's just the player's choice way of neutralizing the banana is just trip on it. <laughs> AJ playing very carefully here. Ooh, misses the grab. He's getting Ooh, really aggressive down despite of careful, being careful, though. He, he's trying, though, because he, he's way down yeah. below. He has no option. Yeah. Just yeah. Diddy jabs. Don't see those very often. Let's see if G-Man makes it back to the stage. He does. A grab. This a trade. Is, this is way close. This is... Goes for the up B. Spot dodges the grab. Needles. Misses the up air and gets the full oh tilt. This is oh way close. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? A grenade. G-Man. G-Man gets a couple more needles. G-Man needs to win this. Oh. If he wants to even continue and win the finals though, right? Oh, oh trade! It was and a fair from G-Man though. G-Man takes it out. Four. Wow, and we are going to game five. Game five. five. Well, it's game four. That was Two. probably yeah. the closest game of this tournament. It, Especially considering it ended in a trade. Sheik took the, but Sheik doesn't trade as well as Diddy can. Oh, not at all. Uh, yeah, when you're at a kill percent, you don't trade with the Diddy up there. You don't want to. You don't, or you're dead. And that's Star KO. Maybe AJ is new to have a life of Star KO, and he's just doing that Diddy dies. Yeah, perhaps. But, going to game five, very close winner's final right here. That game was very, very close. Yeah, yeah. Came down to last I'll be edge of my seat for that. Yeah. Very exciting winner's bracket so far, and loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. So the loser in this gets to play our Etchy. Etchy, who got knocked down in the losers by who, do you know? I believe it was G-Man, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It could be a rematch here. All the players here have only lost to each other. Yeah. They're a uh, very uh, well-defined top three for the first <laughs> I'm just upset you were in the top three. I wanted to see you here. I, I'd rather you not be commentating here with right now. Yeah, um, I'll have to make a better showing. Every once in a while, you just. You I, just I, did, do it. I did too. <laughs> Taking a while to pick what they're going to do here. I think both players want to stick with their character. Just both their characters are doing amazing right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually at the point where I would be surprised to see a character switch. You don't want to switch yeah. things up. Like, you've been doing so well. Yeah, they've both, both shown that they can do this, so... Oh, but Should it's happening. taking a CSS switch. Interesting. Yep. I mean, this could be a bad or very good choice, depending just, on how he does. It's just really surprising to shake it up. A lot of people usually want to get safe, you know. Watching these games, I feel like Jax's fundamentals are yes, a lot better than Tuin's. Even though Tuin knows how to do that one thing, the Jax, the, the high kick, but I feel like AJ knows the character very well, too. Uh, that's probably true. Very good there to grab right there. Yeah, that's a solid reset to set up the match. Getting 25% without taking any damage yet. But now that he's getting... 30%. Going, going to town and to city with those aerials. <laughs> 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 Very good in there. This match just nobody really wanted to commit too hard on anything. Yeah. Dab throw to forward air. Very strong. Ooh, goes for the forward. That's just match. this is just like standard Diddy. This isn't. <laughs> I'm still surprised about the switch right now. Yep. I was expecting Jaxus to... Oh my god, no. And that Jackson. is going to be an unfortunate self-destruct. Jaxus lost his jump and forgot that he had used it already. Still a chance that Jaxus could win this, though. Mm -hmm. He did. But it looks like... Ooh! It's looking like... Uh, so G-Man's just going to be trying to get as much percentage on as he can. Just make it a big Very good. for himself so that he has the advantage. Tries to go for the hype kick there. Yeah. Oh, Very good back, back air. air. This game is still catching win. Diddy. Even after the SD, Jax still has a shot at winning this right now. Yeah, and actually, when you consider the fact that an SD was involved, you might even say Jax has been playing better. Yeah. Jax is just. Oh, except for the SD. Besides that, yeah. <laughs> Very good. That's the weird thing about SDs. In a way, it's bad play, but you also kind of want to count it out somehow. All right.
away and up air string and that is it. That is the game! The boost kick out of two up airs. Well, Jax is taking that in a very exciting g game five. And that Even was after the SG man is going to now have his revenge match with Etchy. Etchy yeah. made it all the way back up to finals, the Salusa's finals, where he is now going to take on G man, G -Man the, cosmic the guy who put him there. Good game, both players. That was super close.